Have you ever had that annoying, persistent mucus in your throat that just won't seem to go away no matter what you do? You're not alone. Millions suffer from excess throat mucus caused by sinus issues, ear infections, tonsil problems, and even acid reflux. But what if I told you there was a simple, natural solution hiding in your kitchen cupboard that could help eliminate that pesky mucus once and for all? It's salt! Yes, you heard that right. Good old sodium chloride could be the key to finally finding relief. But how exactly does salt get rid of throat mucus and respiratory infections? The answer may surprise you. You see, salt has some pretty amazing antimicrobial properties. For centuries, it's been used to preserve foods by preventing bacterial growth. That's why they add salt when curing meats and making sauerkraut. The high salt concentration actually kills off the microbes. Well, it turns out that this same principle applies inside our bodies, too. When you expose bacteria, fungus, yeast, or mold to a high-salt environment, the salt literally sucks the water out of the microbes, turning them into dehydrated, dead particles. Pretty cool, right? But salt's benefits don't stop there. It also happens to be great at thinning out mucus. Have you ever noticed how watery and runny your nose gets after eating really salty food? That's because salt helps break up and thin out mucus, making it easier for your body to expel. So when you have an infection somewhere in your respiratory tract, whether it's your sinuses, ears, tonsils, or throat, using salt can help both kill off the invading microbes and thin out the mucus they're producing, providing much-needed relief. But here's the million-dollar question. What's the best way to harness salt's healing powers? Well, the good news is, there are options for every budget. The cheapest, easiest place to start is simply dissolving about a teaspoon of good quality sea salt, or Himalayan salt, into a glass of warm water. By drinking this salt water concoction, you'll expose your mouth and throat to the antimicrobial benefits. Just be sure to use a natural salt, not processed table salt that contains additives. However, it's important to note that if you have hypertension, or are on a salt-restricted diet due to high blood pressure, heart disease, or kidney issues, you should consult with your doctor before drastically increasing your salt intake, even for therapeutic purposes. While the amount of salt in a glass of water is relatively small, it could still impact your blood pressure if you are salt-sensitive. Gargling with salt water can be even more effective as it really targets the problem area at the back of your throat. Pro tip! Add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to your salt water for an extra microbial killing kick. The acetic acid in vinegar alters pH, making the environment even more inhospitable to infectious microbes. For sinus issues and post-nasal drip, nasal irrigation using a neti pot or saline rinse bottle can work wonders. These allow you to pour sterilized salt water directly into your nasal passages, thinning out and flushing away stubborn infected mucus. If you suspect a fungal sinus infection, this is a great natural treatment to try before resorting to harsh prescription drugs. A humidifier is another option for delivering salt water vapor directly into your respiratory system while you sleep. Just be sure to use sterile water and clean the humidifier frequently to prevent mold and mineral buildup. Breathing in this salty mist all night long can do wonders to loosen congestion. If you have a bigger budget, you may want to consider investing in a halotherapy device. These are basically fancy salt vaporizers that grind up pharmaceutical-grade salt into a fine mist that you then breathe in. Spending time in a man-made salt cave has a similar effect, but can get pricey. For ear infections caused by clogged eustachian tubes, putting a few drops of warm salt water or diluted garlic oil directly into the ear canal can help break up the mucus and kill the infection. Just be sure to use sterile saline and never put undiluted essential oils in your ears. If acid reflux is the culprit, you'll need a more comprehensive approach to tame the burn and prevent stomach acid from creeping up and irritating your throat. But for most people, the cause of persistent throat mucus is microbes taking up residence somewhere in the respiratory tract. In addition to using salt as a natural remedy, it's important to address any underlying vitamin deficiencies that could be weakening your immune system and making you more susceptible to infections in the first place. Vitamin D, in particular, seems to play a big role. 
Studies have found that vitamin D deficiency is common in people with enlarged tonsils, sinus infections, allergies, and stubborn ear infections. That's likely because vitamin D helps regulate the immune system and is critical for the health of the epithelial cells that line our respiratory tract. To harness the immune-boosting benefits of vitamin D, it's recommended to take at least 2,000 IU per day, and even more if you're fighting an active infection. For an extra therapeutic dose, experts suggest taking 50,000 IU once a week until the infection clears. So to recap, if you're one of the millions plagued by persistent throat mucus, don't just suffer through it. Try the surprisingly simple saltwater remedy first, whether it's gargling, drinking it, or using a neti pot or humidifier. Add some apple cider vinegar for extra microbial fighting power. If you suspect your mucus is coming from your ears, use diluted saline or garlic oil eardrops to break it up. And don't forget to supplement with immune-boosting vitamin D, especially during cold and flu season. With these natural solutions, you can finally say goodbye to that annoying tickle at the back of your throat and breathe easy once again. But wait, what about prevention? Is there a way to keep the mucus and infections from coming back? As you might have guessed, Diet plays a huge role. Certain foods like dairy, sugar, and processed junk are major mucus producers and can feed respiratory infections. So if you're prone to chronic mucus, consider cutting out dairy and limiting added sugars and refined carbs. Instead, focus on eating a wide variety of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and lean proteins to give your immune system the nutrients it needs to function at its best. Fermented foods like kimchi and sauerkraut can also help repopulate your respiratory tract with good bacteria to keep pathogenic microbes at bay. Managing stress and prioritizing sleep are also key for preventing recurrent infections, as chronic stress and sleep deprivation can tank your immune function over time. Aim for 7-9 to nine hours of quality sleep each night and find healthy outlets for stress, whether it's exercise, meditation, or talking to a therapist. I hope these tips have given you a solid action plan for getting rid of stubborn throat mucus and preventing it from coming back. Remember, your body has an amazing capacity to heal itself when given the right tools. Sometimes the simplest solutions, like salt water, can be the most effective. So the next time you feel that familiar tickle in the back of your throat, don't reach for the cough syrup, reach for the salt shaker instead. And as always, if your symptoms persist or worsen despite your best home remedy efforts, be sure to check in with your doctor. If you found this information helpful, please share it with your mucus-plagued friends and family. You could be the hero that finally provides the relief they've been searching for. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more natural health wisdom you won't hear from your typical doctor. Together, we can get to the root cause of what ails us and build lifelong health one grain of salt at a time.